coming up in this episode. On this, because there's going to be a storm soon. It's supposed to be quite bad. Oh my god! But sometimes the weather's. It's never. I never know what's going on here. It's, it could stay sunny. Okay, we officially have the door on, all the locks on, the wood paneling on. Everything is done on the gate, like completely finished. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Just going to put some on the floor, yeah? Yeah, if you want. I feel like we're such novices. We are. So guys, this is actually the end of the first season. <laughs> that way, I'm Jordan. I'm Lewis. Hi, I'm Leo. And, and this, this is Faye. Faye. Join the Bye family as we up sticks and reroute from the hustle and bustle of the UK to a more simplistic life in Bulgaria. Watch as we learn, grow, fail, succeed, and everything in between. From Bournemouth to Bulgaria. Okay, that's the fence on. Fence, well, one of the fences, because still got to put a fence across the front with the gate. But we've got, it's now enclosed, obviously, it's enclosed from the house wall, uh, the rear wall just behind those trees, and obviously the, the coop itself. The, is it called a coop? I don't know what it's called. It's a hut. That's where they will sleep and make me eggs. And then obviously we've got this fence line, and we've just got a fence line to just go at the front here where I'm standing where a gate will go but I've just literally just got to trim trim the fence off on the end so um we'll uh, we'll get that off and that'll be me done today that was all I really planned to get done on this because there's going to be a storm soon it's supposed to be quite bad so but sometimes the weather's it's never I never know what's going on here it's, it could stay sunny and then they get it wrong there's already been thunder but it passed so who knows? Who knows what could happen here? It's a crazy place. These are savage. Mate, this might smash the windows. Oh my God. now this middle section is going to be where the gate the entrance is going to go and then these two posts on the outside are just more fence posts for the fence to run along now you might wonder why why are two longer and uh and two of them shorter but the reasoning is purely because we have this door that we're going to reuse from the bathroom um that was here when we originally came the shower room and uh we're going to reuse it and put it on the center there but i don't have any posts that are the same size as them so the plan is to just run the fence, obviously, um, to run the... So the plan is to run the fence across this section here at this height, and it will meet the fence over there. And then from that fence, I'm going to run barbed wire across the top there, and then from the wall over to the top and the fence obviously there. So it should be enclosed and it should be protected and hopefully, it, it, you know, it's going to look a little bit like a concentration camp, but I think it's the right thing to do based on, uh, based on just protection for the animals. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud. You can never doubt, not what I'm about, have your f***ing clouds, it be raining now. I keep making sound, go another round, time legend bound, can't stop me now. A slow burn like a disease Just tell me that I can and I'll show you things that you couldn't believe Just tell me that I can 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 
can see I've got it around the entire entire perimeter even around the top of the coop at the back there and over to the uh, and all the way over to out and all the way over to the house as well what do we think hey eh? what do we think that's great i'm really proud of that i really am that came out fantastic took me about two hours all of this to get everything right but man what a result a little bit left to go we get the latch on and uh Jobs are good in. I think we're going to do something. I'm going to have to do something with this. I think in some wooden panels here would look beautiful. Don't you think? I think that look great. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Oh, listen to that bird. I just want to talk to you guys quickly. Um, and maybe just address a couple of comments that we've had on our YouTube channel. This is uh, like a, a minority, a few people. I want to state to you guys, like, you are not obligated to donate to us. Like, with our PayPal, with our Patreon, you don't have to join. You're not obligated to do any of it. You do not have to pay anything for anything. Our YouTube episodes, you always get for free. I mean, we bring them out all the time. We release them early on Patreon. But most importantly, you know, I think people need to remember that that's, that is, like, that's extra stuff for you guys. Like, there's extra skits on there. There's stuff that we don't put in the episodes and on top of that with the paypal and the donate stuff if people want to donate towards our channel that's really just people supporting us for putting out the content that we put out because honestly we don't make a lot on on the adverts we don't bring in a ton of money from youtube revenue we don't have millions of of subscribers uh, we're grateful for every single one that we do have but it helps it goes a long way and it helps so first and foremost listen you don't have to donate i've seen a couple of comments are oh, i don't want to donate to your channel that's okay you don't have to don't feel obligated it's all right it's all right and we're okay with it and we're content with it uh we get by and and we crack on regardless of whether we have money whether we don't have money whether people donate whether they whether they whether they whether people don't donate or whether people do donate we are happy that people watch us that's fantastic so it's all good, you don't have to. Regardless, I do wanna say thank you to those of you that do donate to our channel. We know you don't have to, but it's great that you do. And this is our moment to just say thank you for doing it. You guys are great, you guys are awesome. Along with that, I wanna say thank you to every single subscriber that we do have, every single person that watches our channel. You're still great too. Started my morning getting the cherry tomatoes into the ground, which were in the caravan. Uh, we pulled up all the old onions this morning uh, that had gone to seed and uh, I think it's easier to just buy some seeds to be honest they're like a lev so I don't know if it's worth just leaving them in the ground waiting for them to go to seed if I can just go and buy a packet for like a lev I just seems like a waste of ground that I could put something else in so I pulled them out put them in the compost and I've planted my tomatoes so you can see we've got 12 12 uh, plants here just next to the onions, the, old, the younger onions that I planted. Got quite a lot of onions. We've got another new patch over there as well. And we've also got this patch here, which are coming close to being done, but not quite there yet. And obviously we've got all of our tomatoes along there, I think. Now we're probably totaling, pushing about 100 tomato plants total for this year. So I'm excited to kind of see how it ends up and, and where we end up going with them and how many of them we end up preserving, how many of them we end up just eating. To so, so that we get an idea of next year how many do we need to how many do we need to plant and how many do we need to grow so i've done this cool little wood feature up here and uh, i didn't want it to look perfect but i think it, what, what i wanted was some sort of like some sort of effect in here and uh and it looks good i think that's come out really nice maybe we'll put a sign a sign even maybe on here or up here i don't know i think it would hide how nice this looks so maybe down here um but yeah two locks on one lock on there, and then another one on the bottom here. Oh no. One lock on the bottom here. What's happened? Something's happened there, isn't it? She opens, she closes. Potentially thinking about putting like a stop on here so that the gate doesn't swing past the hinge line because it'll damage the hinges over time and 
people are going to open and shut this gate and damage it no doubt so i'll probably put like a little something on here some sort of catch just so that it comes up against a stop each time i think that'll be handy so i'll do that as well but yeah now i'm happy i'm happy with that that's cool so gate on gate finalized you can shut it from the out inside as well so if you're in here with the chickens you've got no problems so that will shut and then you're in here with the chick chicks lovely hey everyone if you didn't know we do have a patreon members platform if you didn't know now you do know now we do put a lot of effort into adding new content on here and most recently we've actually added a couple of new categories we now answer patreon members questions directly in our youtube videos via our members q a section where we pick a person at random additionally you can also get early access and you'll be able to watch our youtube videos 72 hours before they air on youtube not only this but another perk is that they're completely ad free. We do have other categories as well, like our what would you do videos and our unseen footage videos, where the things that didn't quite make the episode, for whatever reason, get brought back to life by being put onto our Patreon. So you wouldn't see these things anywhere else. So that's pretty cool. We do have another new category now, where we upload a sneak peek of what's to come in the future. And did you actually know you can join for free as well? That's right, you can join for free, and you do have access to some stuff as a free member. But if you want all the perks, you will have to sign up as a paid member. I just want to take a moment to say thank you to the people who do subscribe to our Patreon. We are so grateful. Your support does not go unnoticed. If you want to join our Patreon, there'll be a link down below in the description. Oh, it's video. Who's talking me? Oh, what's that in the road? That's Castle. a turtle. <gasps> oh, stop! Oh, you're gonna run it over! I'm not gonna run it over. Hold the video. Hurry up, because a car can plow right into the back of me. One turtle rescued. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Turtle. Bye! And then there's little chickens over here, Lou. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna have a look. <laughs> hi, chickens. Do you want to say hi, Dad? Too excited. Hello, chickens. 
Can I get one black? Yeah, get get one. Okay. There we go. Tell Visitical. We've purchased this big black rooster <laughs> with the wonky noodle on him. Yeah, he has got a wonky head, didn't he? Has he got one eye? Why are you discriminating? Take him, mate. Save him. Save him. Everyone. Right, step back. Oh, how's he going to get <laughs> Jesus. I'm running. I ain't doing that. I hope you take that down, my boy. Yeah, I Oh, he's fuming. Yeah, you're nappy. We got some chickens. Is there some chicken? Like, Probably. I bet they'll kill it if you want it done. Yeah, they do. I think that's the chickens eating each other. Oh. Don't fall. My legs ain't good. Oh, look at the little tweets. Can you hear them? Right, so if we put... Mommy's here. We'll put the cameras there, so... So we'll do it just here? Yeah. And then... Oh, yeah. It's like Christmas. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited and nervous at the same time. You ready? Let's not name them yet, let's, let's find out their personalities. Oh, hello. Do you want to come out? Oh, it's friendly. There we go. Not friendly. No. Who's that one? I don't know, but I just love it already. Oh, they look like Jurassic Park. Chickens. I'm so happy for you. Please don't die. Please don't die. Well, we have to expect some deaths. Oh, look, look this one likes cuddles. <laughs> this one likes cuddles, though. Does it? Can I hold it? Yeah, go on. I'll hold it. Mind, you've got to be careful with your feet. Okay. Because yeah. you know what you're like with the kids' toys. Look at this one, though. Oh. oh! And then off we go. I like that one. Look at his head. It's got, it's got like a hat. Look at them having a little pet. Yeah, there'll be loads of bugs and stuff, though, won't there? Oh, 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 oh! I like this one because it's got like a stripe. Yeah. What are you gonna name it? I don't know. I thought we were naming them like Ange. Ange. <laughs> We'll have to pick which ones are Ange. Yeah. We've got more ch mature. I feel like Ange should be a bigger and Sheila should be a bigger because they're older. You know? Then you can go away if you think you're eating my chickens, mate. He is like well interested. Look at this idiot. Go on, off you go. Go away. Yeah. Go away. Now. Go. Just give it some time. I like that the little small ones are only like four lev. I know, four So these ones here were 10 lev. They're not laying yet, but they should be laying soon. Don't we have yeah, we've got three big ones. And these little ones, these little ones were only four lev each. Where's it gone? Oh, it's over there, look. That's the one I like because it's got a hat. That's Sheila. Cooler than that, Sheila? Yeah, because it's got a haircut like grandma. <laughs> Mind your feet. I'm watching. Which one, Sheila? That one in there. It's over there. Do you think we should put a little bowl down for the chicks? Maybe. I do. Maybe. I don't want to get them dehydrated. No. Look at that idiot over there. No. Just 
just just want to taste them. Just see what they're like. <laughs> He's licking his lips and all. Yeah, I bet he is. He tastes the cats. Mind you. Cute, isn't they? Ooh. So we've got two white ones, two like yellow tan ones and a black one. Yeah. All right. Oh, they do need a little pool of water because I don't think they're going to do it. Right, should we let this guy out? Thought the rooster? Yeah. Jesus. I'm going for it. All right. Do you want to put your dogs away? Because if we need to get out, they could try and come in. I might want the dogs to protect me, to be honest. Nah. You don't want them, one of them getting in here. Oh, look. Like a Disney princess. Oh, oh. oh no, that's a scene from Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Told you. Come on then. I'm scared. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you got this, George. Go on. He's massive. He's huge. Come on. Good boy. Hey, if he comes for you, George, you've got to pin him. I'm scared. It's like Big Brother, but chicken edition. Yeah. Do have to watch. He might be really good. You don't know. Let's put it out there, you know, that he's going to be like a really good spider. Yeah? Yeah. Seems he's right. not a mum. He's not a mum. Oh. <laughs> Little peck's okay. Right, now we've just got to figure out, so we've got Sheila, we're going to have Ange. I think Ange should be the blonder one at the back. Well, so people know who you're talking about, like referring to Ange. They're like, why are you calling oh, it okay. Ange? So, oh. so we decided to name all the chickens after family members. Sheila's getting cornered. Chickens after dark Hi! Run, chicken, run. Go, Sheila, go! <laughs> Look at little Bianca, don't know what to do. <laughs> don't worry, Bianca, mum has got you. How are you feeling? I'm so happy. I'm just, I'm worried. I wouldn't be scared if it was just... I think it's going to be fine. I think it's going to be fine. If he plays up too much, we'll sort him out. Hello. Hey everybody, if you're enjoying this episode, don't forget to leave us a little comment, like, and subscribe. John has asked us, what's the time scale on our project? He's also asked us if we have permanent residency. So let's go for a walk. Can I just say also, spring, making a solid comeback here. Now for me personally, I, say that we have about a 10 year 10 year plan i want to have it you know fully finished in 10 years is that realistic i'm not entirely sure i've never done this before and we've never done this before so how can we be sure of when we're actually going to finish and i don't really want to time stamp it if i can be honest with you because i'm i'm quite motivated to just get on with stuff anyway so it's not really a huge deal for me to find the motivation to get on with the next task i love to work I love to get stuck in and I love to crack on. So that in itself will push us on quite far. So 10 years would be great. If it's not 10 years, then a lifetime of work. It's all right. I'm okay with it. I'm just standing on this concrete platform that I've been working on at the caravan. It's actually really good. Nice height. You can step straight into the caravan. Now, as for residency, this is something that everyone asks us all the time because it's the hot topic, especially for people from the UK. And I think it's good that we can sit here and answer this question because for a lot of people, it's not going to apply to you now. We were very aware of Brexit and that it was happening and that it was going to be very difficult to obtain residency once Brexit had kind of come to fruition. So we actually obtained our residency prior to Brexit. So we got the easy route, but we knew it was coming. So we were very aware that we had to make it happen fast and we had to make it happen before the regulations changed 
and we got here when Britain was still in the European Union or were going through the transition of leaving. So it, it's really, fr- I know this is a frustrating answer for a lot of you because a lot of you want, want to hear me tell you how you can get residency too, but I we have not experienced what you guys are, are experiencing now. I guess we're the lucky ones, but we knew it was coming and, and we made some really quick decisions to try and obtain our our residency so we just can't stand here and give you advice on how difficult it is for you to obtain because we haven't lived or gone through what you guys are going through now from what i know it's a lot easier for pensioners to get residency here than it is for non-pensioners to get residency here it's a lot easier for people in europe in the European Union to get residency here. Right now, I, honestly, I don't know of any loopholes for people in Britain or for people who are not pensioners. I'm sure there are, are potentially some, and I'm sure there are people out there that can give you better advice than what I can, and I'm not here to give you advice. I think the only advice I could really give you is find yourself a lawyer here in Bulgaria, speak to them, see how you get on. But thanks for your question. So I'm going to stroll off into the sunset, you know. Sunset? the morning why sunrise what did i do is it broken why do why why do you get a a tea you get a tea and i didn't get a tea i'm sorry mate i didn't think about you that's just (laughs) i'm not gonna sugarcoat it (laughs) sorry Oh mate! Oh mate! Help me up! I've got tea all over me. That's on camera. <laughs> Help me up, mate! Don't we can't both sit on the one side? I think I sat down too quickly. No, I think we're too big. No, we're fine. Sit down. It's fine. I just started. Did, did I not get the the picnic bench balance distribution right? We can't both sit on it. We can sit down. It's going to be fine. Ready? No. It's fine. It was just me and my big lump ass. <laughs> my hand is sticky Mate. now. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we actually do a video? Oh. Jesus Christ, I'm so... Be like, what do you do before that video? <laughs> Look at this. State of it. Jesus, worry, George. It every day. What have you been doing? <laughs> So guys, this is actually the end of the first season. You guys have sat through, what, 22 episodes? How many hours is that? Of, oh God, I don't know. Each episode's like 30 minutes or something like that. Some of them 40. So like, that's a good chunk of time you guys have been watching us, for sure. Why? I still think about it and I'm like, why do people, why are people invested? Do you know what I mean? Mostly for me. Yes, Liz, we know you're the star. I am the star. <laughs> no. <laughs> But I mean, we wanted to, firstly, we wanted to sit here and just say thank you to start off with, um, because obviously for us in our first year, I would say that's a pretty successful year. Yeah, looking back, oh, I can't even think about it. Oh, what, when we were parked there with the yeah. caravan? Yeah, that was that was a low point for me. That was a low I was I was ready to pack it in. Yeah. What when I came you? out, when I came out the caravan, and it was all mud, because it was just not grass. No. It was just turned over mud. And then you, would like, chucked a towel ball in, down. <laughs> yeah, I did. And then there was just all of our stuff in boxes, but we had that, that like, camp table. Yeah. And it was all the food was just covered in flies. Yeah, it's really gross. Like, not just a bit, like covered we had to cover our food up do you remember yeah. Yeah. with like things was that your lowest point i know there's many but was that your low point oh i've had a few um well would you like you gotta figure out like, what was the time when you wanted to pack up and go and if, what was that it i think when we were there i was like in my mind i've only been here a few days yeah. but i think we had so much problems like even couldn't even get here couldn't even get onto the land that mm. was problem number one I think my low point, probably building the when you were building the decking, 
and we've moved the caravan yeah. under the tree. Yeah. I was very sad about that. I was working really hard. Yeah, but I, that's that's. The, I wasn't saying you weren't working hard. I was saying you're working this hard, and I still hate it. Mm. There was no water. There was no. I couldn't wash clothes. The kids were just playing in a dirt pile. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I thought, what am I doing? I've left carpet for this. You fix it though. I need this. I'm, I'm happy about that. Are you? Yeah. I think you've come so far. One thing I do regret. Do you know one thing I regret? What? I think you'll agree. Mm. I regret automatically thinking we were going into the annex without even checking out the house. Yeah, that was a mistake. That was such a mistake, wasn't it? Yeah, because we probably could have moved into the house even faster. Yeah. If we'd have just... But we're in our... We didn't even look. No. We, we? Just we, assumed... just, we just assumed, oh, that'll but be that's... easier because it's cheaper. But not, even, mean... not, not even that. I think we took the advice of other people, like, yeah, get into the small building first. And yeah. when realistically, yeah. it was more work to get into the small building than it was to get into the bigger building. Yeah. And we should have... How nice was that high, though? Do you yeah. remember when we were in the caravan and when we were like, we're not moving into the annex. We're oh. moving into the house and we got this, like, fresh lease of life. Do you remember? Yeah, that was great. I love that. That's, that's one of my high points because I felt, like, re-energised about moving again. So my lowest point was definitely the septic tank. Yeah, I've never seen you that bad. I've never wanted never to leave so bad. much in my life. No. I regretted that. Especially once I'd I'd spent all that time building it yeah. and for it to come to fruition and then for me to go and mess it up and mess the foundations up and for it to tip. That your face when you went out and the next day, I remember you walking around and going, it's we've been tipped over. And I was like, what? How can it tip over? Uh, well, it can, and it yeah, did. Yeah, it did. Yeah, but now looking back, you Look learned something. Yeah, looking back, I wouldn't build it like that again. No. And, like, spend... <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'd build it again at all. No. I maybe would just get someone to build it you for me. You say that about everything. I know, but still... I can't help it. I can't help it that I think I can do a better job than everybody. It's a terrible trait of mine. Leo. Yeah? Come here. Bulgaria, what was your lowest point of being here? Ooh. Low point where you thought, now nah, I'm ready to go home. Oh. To be honest, none. None? None? Okay. What's, your, what's your high point? What's been like the best time? Well, it was just because I was on weekend. Like, I felt at peace. Oh. Okay. Yeah, like, but what was your highest, what was your happiest point? Like, so from the journey, from the very day we arrived with the caravan pulling up, since that day of pulling up, and your whole journey to where we are now, what's your highest point? Well, it was that campsite that actually made me pretty happy. In Germany. In Germany. Yeah. Where the water park was. <laughs> no. So we hadn't even arrived at that point. No, yeah. no, not that one. The one that had the trampoline. Yeah, that was in Holland. Yeah, that wasn't here. I mean, no, it's I in think... the season, though. Yeah, like, that's a high it's, point. It's a high Love point that. for him. I thought your low point would be washing up at that sink. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to skedaddle. <laughs> All right, go on then, high point. High point for me. I would probably say is oh, I don't feel like it was getting us into the house for the f oh because you literally I, left though didn't you yeah because you I never got us into the house and then literally I had to go back to the UK for two a days bit. later yeah because I remember like moving stuff in with the kids on my own I would probably I would probably say to have a house full of yeah no do you know what it was getting us into the house mm. but it was getting us into the house and I had rewired the entire house so that it made it functional for everybody to get yeah, in the house. That and was so nice. When because I we it. moved in that night. Yeah. The night we turned the lights well, yeah, on. Yeah, we just abandoned the caravan. Yeah. It looked like it had been ransacked because I was just like, just grab what you want. We're going. <laughs> and then chucked a mattress on the floor, oh, slept on the no. floor for the first night. No. But we did it and that was important, you know, and I think that was that was the final, that was the missing piece of the puzzle for us to be able to get in there. And yeah. I think that was important. I one thing I really loved going off your thing was when the house was lit up for the first time. I remember, like, just yeah, standing stand. in the garden, and the house was like it had lights on, yeah, and it looked like people lived there. And it was like it'd gone from this place where I wouldn't even go. I didn't, we arrived, and I didn't go into our house three weeks till three weeks later. Yeah, I know it was scary though, wasn't it? It was scary as hell, yeah, it was. And the annex, so we used to be like so scared to go in there, yeah, yeah, it's mad. Well, should we wrap it up? I know, but we could reminisce for hours. <laughs> yeah, we could. Because this is just going on the end yeah. of a YouTube episode. We're going to sit down and go over all of our... We're gonna, so we're going to sit down and go over our episodes 
and kind of relive memories and moments and make that and we'll make that and we'll make (laughs) and we'll make that a special youtube episode because that's going to be really cool to, to sit down and do that yeah but yeah thank you guys for watching our first season You're like. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching our first season. <laughs> ah! I, I like that better than mine. Yeah. Why use that? I just want to say thank you um, for everyone's support and kind words and the, some of the comments that have made us laugh and all the support that has kept us videoing even in those really tough times. So thank you, everyone. And here's everything that's coming up on season two. You. Me and Leo have decided to take things into our own hands and build the pool ourselves. Normally we get Lou do it, but she's busy and we want a pool today. That was meant. I don't know what I'm doing. You can learn. This, I need a step by step video to go back on for reference. I've got loads of videos. <laughs> It's Leo's first day of school today, so we've sent... <laughs> Hi, how you doing? First day of school! <laughs> Thank you! Wait, is that I'm going to dig my teeth into this caravan platform that we're building so that we can make this caravan a nicer place for people to stay. You're right, Dave. Doesn't matter, I'll use both. I also clean the beam because I'm not a clean person. You were made for this life, girl, weren't you? Prozotzi.